Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Jennifer Marie, your girl. I'm back at it with another video. You already know. So, welcome. if you're welcome. If you're new, welcome. If you've been with me, welcome back. And in today's video, I'm going to be packing for my trip to Miami. I leave early in the morning. I am packing for my BBL surgery. Well, maybe my BBL. And I am looking extra glowy and bright so it is where's my phone it's wow time is flying it's 11 30 and it's sunday the 8th august 8th i leave in the morning i gotta be to the airport at 7 30 my best friend yvette is coming with me and i haven't packed yet so i'm gonna be packing now so i'm going to be doing a vlog i'm packing because i'm a prisoner and I am extra behind so the whole thing is that I'm actually going to be packing for having a BBL with leg lipo and or packing to have a mastectomy with leg lipo because they don't know my surgery coordinator doesn't know if i'm going to have enough of fat to have so my surgery coordinator doesn't know if i have in the pictures that i sent her she doesn't know if i have enough of fat Um, she doesn't know, my surgery coordinator doesn't know if I have enough of fat to have a BBL. So, she said that don't worry, my doctor will see me on the day of surgery, I don't see my doctor. My doctor is Dr. Magic Mike, so his whole full name is Dr. Michael John Rodriguez, over at Silhouette Plastic Surgery. In Miami so that's where I'm going and I'm just gonna be packing so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be packing so that's the whole thing let me see I don't have my I don't have my tripod up here so I'm just gonna put you guys on my desk my beauty desk and let me just put my actually I'm gonna put you guys like right here let's see how that works and I still have my coffee that I made. So I made a pack list. So that I could not forget nothing. And um, I did some laundry yesterday. But you really don't need any like regular clothes. But the thing about it is that I am flying in tomorrow. My surgery isn't until Wednesday the 11th. So I'll have, and my pre-op is on Tuesday. So I'll fly in tomorrow. We don't get in until 5, 5.22. So we'll have tomorrow to hang out, do stuff. And then pre-op is on Pre-op is on, oh shoot, pre-op is on, see I got some stuff down here, I got all, I still have, I had a um, BBL surgery on August the 28th, 2019, so the only thing that I had to get all over again, I still have everything from then, I just had to get some new foam boards, hold on. Ugh. Okay, so I have most of everything. I have everything from the first time that I had got surgery. Let me just make sure that my stuff didn't. I think I'm okay. So I still have my 
BBL pillow. Now I had, I still got my thigh highs. You know something, I just went and bought some and I just went and bought another one thinking I didn't have it. So now I have three shower curtains. I got my urinal. The only thing I had to order all over again was some foams because they leaked and they got bloody and they got all nasty. And I already had some dial soap. So I already had the shower curtains and I had the dial soap because you guys, what had happened was I was supposed to get, I was scheduled for surgery last year. I was scheduled for surgery last year to um, December 8, 2020, but I had messed around and lost 40 pounds. And so, yeah, I had messed around, lost 40 pounds. So I was too skinny, didn't have any fat. Okay. And I just gained 40, I get, just gained 20 pounds. I might have gained like 22, 23 because your girl done put on low weight. You know, your girl done put on low weight. You see that? So I'm hoping that they have enough of weight, have enough of fat. So, I'm hoping they have enough of fat, but I don't know. But anyhow, so all you really need when you get a BBL is you need some A shirts so that um, when you're wearing the Faja, you wear the A shirts. And I'm bringing a. Hello? You're friends with my son's dad. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll let them know. Yes, it is. Okay. All right, no problem. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. So you want to wear, I got, I'm bringing some A-shirts. So I got three A-shirts. And I'm bringing a sports bra that has no underwiring, so it could be comfortable. So I'm gonna wear the A shirt under the. I um, mean, I'm gonna wear a sports bra. It's not a sports bra. It's padded, but it's got no wiring. And then I'm gonna have the um, A shirt because with the foams, you know that with the foams you wanna wear an A shirt so that you have some padding and stuff. And then I have the, oh, here's the bag. I got the BBL bag right here, so that's good. Okay, so I still have the, the board in the back. To You want to make sure that your skin doesn't wrinkle up. So these, hold on, let me make sure. These will make sure your skin doesn't fold. So that when you're sitting down, your skin doesn't like wrinkle up. You don't, you want to make sure your skin doesn't fold up because you can get permanent wrinkles. So this will make sure, this will make sure that you don't have the wrinkles, that you, your skin doesn't get those permanent folds. So I got those. I got the A shirts. So I'm just going to pile these on out. I'm going to be bringing, let me get my suitcase out now. We're just getting, we're, I'm just.
just going to bring um, a carry-on because the plane comes with a carry-on. I still have I still have my flight thing from the last time. I got my little packing list. I fell asleep to it last night. So, I'm going to be doing, y'all, a different video on myths and truth about BBLs because my lab doctor, there's a lot of myths and there's a lot of truths. So, I'm packing up my vitamins. I got my daily women's vitamin, a gummy. I have my... Um, my biotin for hair and nails, and then I definitely have my vitamin B12. If I don't take my B12 after about three days, I'll get dark circles, and I'll definitely notice. I'll get lethargic. I'll start getting, like, tired and sleepy. I'll find it myself, like, shortly after I wake up the next morning, about an hour after, I'll find myself getting tired after I stop taking my vitamin B12. And then I'll take my, of course, my depression medicine and my anxiety. For those of you that do not know me, if you guys are new, I do suffer from depression and anxiety. So I do take my anxiety and my medication. If you guys are thinking about be having a BBL or you guys are just looking into having a BBL and you guys are wondering, you guys are able to still continue to take your, and you are, um, on any type of antidepressant or anxiety medication, you can continue to take your depressant and anti antidepressant and your anxiety medication. So no worries there. I'm going to be take I'm going to be doing a whole separate vlog and video on truths and myths about BBLs. So I definitely got those. Ow! Damn it! One the freaking biggest one fell on my foot. Okay, so you guys, I'm just going to be bringing, I don't know what I'm going to be bringing because I have, I'll have tomorrow and then I'll have the day of pre-op, so I'll have Monday and Tuesday. I'll have two days to look cute before I'm looking like Howard the Duck, all puffed up and swollen with my phone boards and my Baja's and everything before I'm waddling around with it looking like Howard the Duck because that's what it looks like when you have your phone boards and you have your faha and you're really swollen when you have that fluid injected in you and you're all bruised up and you have the canola 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 the big long rod that is used to suck the fat out of you and it's going in and out of you and in and out of you and in and out of you to suck the fat out and you're all bruised up and everything, you're swollen. Your face will get puffed up and swollen. So it reminds me of Howard the Duck. So you have a big, if I have the BBL, if the doctor does say I have enough fat to have a BBL or a skinny BBL, then it reminds me of, BB, of a Howard the Duck. So I'll have two days of looking cute. So I'll bring like two cute outfits and I'm going to bring my cute sexy bathing suit. Because the Airbnb, we I did get a I did book an Airbnb, and we're gonna go to like the South Beach Strip and hang out at the pool at the Airbnb. It's got a really nice pool, and we'll take some pictures and we'll hang out at the pool and go to South Beach. But other than that, all you need is literally some t-shirt t-shirt dresses that go like. They go to the knee because you're going to have some compression socks. You're going to wear, you're going to be looking like Big Mama. If you see Big Mama, you're going to be looking like Big Mama with the, um, with the knee high compression socks. So all you need is something like this that you're not going to get dirty. Some t-shirt dresses. That's all you're going to need is some t-shirt dresses. So... I'm going to bring these, and I just got these from Goodwill. Literally. Oh, don't do me like that. Okay, here we go. Okay. Is it going to do me like that? Anyways, I got this from Goodwill. So, I'm going to bring this one. 
And then I got this one from Goodwill also. I got this one as well from Goodwill. It's a little t-shirt dress. You know, a little tank, a little cute tank dress. Because you're going to be foamed up. And you're going to be swollen with, with your um, foam boards and everything like that. So that is all you need. I'm just going to bring a couple of those. So you want to be comfortable. You want to just have something to slip on and slip off. Now, if you are, my goodness, God Almighty, oh, my robe. I almost forgot my robe. So I'm going to be bringing those. I got this one from the last time. I actually bought this one at the Walmart there. You want to bring dark just in case blood leaks because blood will leak. So you don't want to have the blood leaking. So I actually got this. So these are what you want to wear. You want to get something that's going to be comfortable that you could just slip on and slip off and you want to cut you want to have it you want to have it let me put that down so you can see you want to have you want to have the dress going to down to here because when you wear the fire highs when you wear the fire high the fire high is going to go to to the lower knee like just before the knee so you don't want to have a dress and then have the fire high, the end of the fire high going below the dress. Because that's going to look funny. So you want to have a dress that's going to go below the fire high. So. Now I don't remember which one is the one that I got from the hospital. Not the hospital, but from the surgery center. Because I got this one. I had bought two on my own. Okay, this isn't it because this is Gamma Alta. And then this is Gamma Alta as well. Yeah, this one still has a, um, I don't even think I need to bring this. I think this is the one that I got from, and this is an extra large. But I thought I had one that was like a double extra large. Did I get rid of it? This is a large. I thought I had one that was. You want to bring two fire highs. And I'm going to tell you why. When you leak. It's not if you leak. When you leak. And you have the one fire high in the washer. You want to have another one to put on while the one that is soiled in the washer. So you want to have two of the same size right out of surgery. Not two different size Fajas. You want to have two of the same size Fajas going straight out of, coming straight out of surgery. And the purpose is so that when one is dirty, now this is a 2X, but the thing is, is that I don't think that this 2X is a 2X because this is looking real slimish. So we're going to put this one back in. Now they have different size, stage rather, Fajas. But that's not what I'm talking about as far as getting two different Fajas. I'm talking about getting two of the same size Fajas from, for when you get right out of surgery. Because when, they, when, when one gets dirty, when the one gets dirty and soiled that you have on and it's in the washer, you want to have one put, to be able to put on while... The other one's in the dryer. You don't want to be without a faja while the one that's soiled in the washer because you will leak. There's fluid that is pumped and inject, injected by the... There, you have fluid that is injected inside of you when you have the BBL surgery. You have fluid that is injected inside of you so that 
the doctor, the surgeon can safely remove and suck the fat out of you. So that fluid, along with the blood that is coming out, I believe this is the first, I believe this is the Faha that I got from my first surgery because I only purchased two. And they were both Gamma Alta. These are Gamma Altas. So. Now, you want to check with your surgeon, your, your um, plastic surgery center. Because not all surgery, every surgery center is different. And I'm going to go over that when I do Truths and Myths my truth and myth video but every surgery center is different and some will give you a faha and some you will not so this is how a faha will look they will typically go down to your knees and then you will want to have something that is comfortable to go on You want something that's just going to easily slip on and off. Okay? You want something that's going to just slip on and off. Now, this covers this covers the bottom of the faja, so you cannot see the faja. Well, you could see maybe a little bit of lace right there. Let me see if you could see. You could see maybe a little bit of lace. You could see maybe a little bit of lace right there, but it ain't much. That's about, that's about to the extent of it. You could see maybe a little bit right there. Okay? That's to the extent of it. But you don't want a dress that's going to be short. You want something that's going to be comfortable. Okay? So you want something that is going to be comfortable that you won't be able to see. You don't want to you don't want a dress that's going to be like that. I mean, if I mean if anything it's going to look like shorts. It's not going to look that bad, but it'll look kind of funny because then you're going to have the sock and compression socks on. So that's how that'll look. Now, you'll have your bra underneath. I would highly suggest you have a bra that does not have underwiring because that can get pretty uncomfortable as well. Now, I'm going to go over something. This. This is very, very convenient when you have to use the bathroom. Especially that first day when you get out of surgery. Okay? When you're out of it, you don't want to have to walk to the bathroom. You can just, there's a hole in the faja. There is a hole that you can just put this in the hole and just pee in the, the, the enclosed urinal will catch the urine and you can just dump it out afterwards or have your helper and your caretaker dump it out for you. But you don't have to walk to the bathroom or to the toilet. Now, if you do have to walk to the toilet, I'm going to tell you how you walk and go to the bathroom. If you have to go to the bathroom and do a number two, let's say this is the toilet and this is the back of the toilet. And you would normally sit like this to use the back. Let's say this is the back of the toilet. If you have to do a number two, okay, this is the back of the toilet. This is how you're going to sit. You're going to sit like this. Okay, you're going to face the opposite side of the toilet. Okay, that's how you're going to go. Or, you can use this, but it's not going to go too well. If you was to try to use this, it's not going to go too well. If you was to try to use this to use the bathroom and do a number two, it's not going to go too well. It's going to kind of be awkward. This is a urinal, not a number two. So don't try to attempt that. So you would go use the bathroom 
backwards. You would face the toilet opposite direction. Okay. What else do I want to go over? Okay, so this is the fire high. You don't want your fire high too tight. You don't want to compress. You don't want you don't want to compress what new fat cells that you just had injected into your body because it will kill the fat cells that you just had injected. So that's very, very important. You want to also have a couple different compression socks because when you leak, you leak. So you want to have more than one different compression sock. So again, your doctor, usually the surgeon does give you a pair of compression socks, but again, you want to ask, never assume. And if they do give you a pair, it's going to be just one. It's good to have two pair. So that one pair, when a pair are dirty, you have an extra pair to put on. So, okay. It looks like it was inside out. I'm going to try this on real quick. While I am here, because I want to see how big. Now, this is a stage two fire high. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up getting, these are a stage one fire high. I don't even need to bring these. Because... These are small. You don't want to kill the fat cells. You don't want to put something really tight on. Okay. So, I also highly suggest Arnica Gel. Arnica Gel has a roller. It helps when you get your lymphatic massages. Your lymphatic massages are a must. It helps to push out all the fluid that is inside of you from the, the surgery. It helps and you will run out of one. You will, If you only get one, you will run out. So I highly, I did run out of my first one after like the second, the second or third massage. So I highly suggest getting two. And then they also have Arnica... Uh, tea. The tea is not sold at Walgreens or Walmart. You have to order it online. I got mine at Amazon. I am going to put the link. I am going to put the link below. When I would make my tea, I would do two at a time. I would add a little bit of honey and I would add a little bit of sugar to make it sweet. These help with bruising. And it did help significantly because when I, I'm going to see about posting from my first surgery. I'm going to see about posting what I look like in here. But you will be significantly black and blue and purple, dark pitch black purple. And I significantly saw the black pitch black purple turning yellowish and meaning that the bruising started to diminish almost right away. So I do feel like these helped almost instantly. So getting the massages helped to drain in the Arnica gel. And I just get the gel. There are creams and other type of Arnica. There's like a cream. and But I just get the gel because it's clear. And then the tea. So I do highly suggest that. And I also suggest getting pineapple juice. There are agents and type of minerals inside pineapple juice. So I do highly suggest when you go for your surgery to get Powerades. 
to make sure you stay well dehydrated when you are under the anesthesia and you come out you may still be under anesthesia and then you're under certain prescriptions certain painkillers for pain for painkiller usually percocet nine out of ten and then you'll be given a, a prescription for a healer like a um so that you don't get an infection I can't think of the name right now. I can't think of the name. It's not coming to me. You'll get a you'll get a prescription so that you don't get an infection. Like an antibiotic. There you go. An antibiotic. So you'll have to make sure that you take your antibiotic. So typically when you're under, I know for me, when I first came out of my surgery, I was just knocked out. I was just knocked out and you will get sick. And um, I know that you will not want to eat anything. But you have to try to eat something because you will get sick. And so you have to be sure that you eat even just at least some chicken noodle soup. So when you go to the store, I know for me, I'm going to get some chicken noodle soup. And I'm going to make sure I have some pineapple juice on deck. And I'm going to have some uh, power aids on deck. So that I make sure that I have some fluids to stay dehydrated. So I could stay hydrated. And the pineapple juice does have some agents some healing agents so that you can it can help with bruising and um the power aids have the the um it has like the uh lipid not lipids it has the um electrolytes inside of it to help you to stay hydrated and everything like that kind of like pedialyte but for adults it's got it's it helps you stay hydrated so and then the pint, the um, and so you want to help, you want to have your caretaker, or if you're staying at a house, if you're staying at a recovery house, you know, they should be helping you to make sure. I have my own intake. I had a bad experience when I stayed at a recovery house. Um, I've heard good things about good, about recovery houses. I had a very bad experience. I had an actual horror story about, and I still have not done my, I still have not done my, video or my story on my first BBO, I went to a different doctor. I had a different experience with my first BBO. So I still have not done that, but not to say all recovery houses are bad. Mine just was not a good one, but your recovery house, the staff should be making sure that you take, they give you your antibiotic and that you stay hydrated. Mine was a complete opposite. Everything was complete opposite for me. So I will have to get up and, you know, get, gather that. I have video footage. I have live everything. Everything live. Um, so I will have to get up and, you know, put that, gather that together. Now that I know how to, at first I didn't know how to edit. Now that I know how to edit, I don't know how to fully black blur because I do have boobs out. And now that I know how to um, edit... I just don't know how to make the blur um, carry along with me when I'm moving. So I got to figure that one out. But anyways, I have live footage. Um, and I thought I was dying. <laughs> they had to call my surgeon, everything. It was a hot mess. It was blood everywhere. It looked like a freaking CSI crime scene. It was crazy. It was ludicrous. But anyhow, any home, um, yeah, so it's very important that you have at least some chicken noodle soup because you will get sick. Now, the Percocets or the painkillers, I will tell you that they will constipate you. So, with that said, I went last night to get me some Colace. Colace will help you to soften your bowels. So that you can do a number two because you'll have a whole nother set of issues if you don't now when i went to the first surgery i did not really take them i did not really take the painkillers i got me some extra strength tylenol this you guys will be your best friend this will be your best friend and as a matter of fact when i took the percocet the first time it instantly took care of the pain, except for I had a pocket of pain right here. I had a pocket of pain that I felt right here, but when I took the Tylenol, it took care of that pocket of pain. So, definitely get you some Tylenol extra strength. I didn't even freaking realize that my picture freaking...
came off of the wall. So, definitely get you some Tylenol Extra Strength and some Colates just in case. So these are going to be my, and then this is my, I had to get some new foams. These are really thin. These ones are really thin, so I don't know about these. I'm going to see how they do, but they're really, really thin. I only need one of these dial soaps. I also got the Chucks. Yes. Oh, so by the way, the shower curtain is to lay on the bed so that you don't screw up the bed. So you don't leak and get blood or any um, bodily fluids on the bed. So you don't mess up anybody's bed. So that's what that's for. So I lay that down. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay. So... This is not working. Those were up there for freaking since the Christmas, since winter time. I don't know why they came off, but not freaking cool. I don't want it to fall and break something. That's the thing. I don't know why that came off all of a sudden. This is my bag, my BBL pillow, and it's held up really good. This is the one that I had from the beginning with. sure my freaking picture does not fall off and break anything because this is my um the bag for my bbl pillow so my flights come on come with a free carry-on so i'm not checking any back shit okay i'm just gonna sit it right here that's a wrap I'm going to have to get the new um, stick and peels, whatever, whatever. We're not going to be breaking anything around here. So, this one is the Royal Comfort. And I got it from Amazon. So, I am bringing my camera bag so that I can vlog. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be, I'm going to ask Dr. Mike if I can interview him, if I could vlog the pre-op. I'm hoping he says yes. So, I'm bringing my camera bag, but hopefully they don't. I'm going to use this as a purse. I'm going to put my pocketbook inside my camera bag. So, I'm hoping that I can get away with bringing this and my camera bag. So, I'm going to have my suitcase. My, this has a carry-on. It's small. It's like a 22. It's really small. And then I'm going to have these two. So I'm going to use this as a purse, and I'm going to have this on my back. So that's how I'm going to do that. So that's how I'm doing those. So I got my BBL pillow. Okay, so these are Chuck's. They're like hospital grade type of, they're like, they're like pads for like elderly. You can get them at Walgreens. You can get them at Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, Rite Aid, but I got these at Walmart, I mean at, at Walgreens and I will put them on top of the shower curtain as an extra absorbency for bodily fluids or blood. And you just lay it out pretty much and it comes with 18 and it's a 23 by 36 and if you guys got OTC if you guys got OTC so if you guys are SSD or SSI if you guys have any yeah and you guys got the OTC you can get these with OTC okay so, we've got those. So, I'm bringing, I'm just going to put what, after I show you guys, I'm going to put these. So, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get, I don't have enough of time. I'm going to, yeah, because I leave in the morning. I leave, I have to leave at six something in the morning. Otherwise, I have Amazon Prime. 
Amazon Prime, you can get free next day delivery, but I don't have enough time. And I also didn't order the bra strap either. I have my mastectomy bra. I got to go over to my storage to go get it. So right now I only have this. Baja. Because you don't want it tight. The other ones are tight. And you don't want to squeeze your work. So I'm bringing one, two, three, four. I don't think I need four dresses, to be honest. But I'm going to bring four anyways. I'm going to bring four anyways. I'm going to bring four dresses and two compression socks. I only have, let me see, I have enough for one, two, three and a half. I have enough for three and a half of Arnica, Arnica tea. So I showed you guys these. I'm bringing my camera so that I could vlog. I am bringing my vlogging camera. I'm bringing you guys my vision book because I'm definitely showing Dr. Mike my, I got to tape, I got to tape an, another picture in here because in here is how, okay, it's too bright. You guys can't see really. Okay, here you go. I'm showing him how. These are my wish picks, how I want my butt. But I don't have a lot of fat, so mine is probably going to be more towards like that. I really like this one right here. You guys can see it. I really like this one right here. But with my the fat that I have, it's going to be more towards like this one. But I like this one right here. So I got to tape this in here. So I'm going to be bringing this to show Dr. Mike. These are my wish picks. So I'm bringing my vision book. I'm not just bringing pictures in my phone to show him. I'm bringing, I'm bringing him to show Dr. Mike how serious I am and show him... Because I'm going to show him how serious I am. That's, I'm just going to leave it at that. Because when he sees what I show him, he's going to understand where I'm coming from. And how big I am on manifestation. How serious I am about it. So, I'm bringing my vision book. Because you guys, manifestation is real. And I'm big on it. I've been big on it for a lot of years. Way before The Secret. I didn't even, I just watched the movie The Secret two weeks ago. I didn't even know about it. I've been doing this since I was a little girl. Since Sears had catalogs. Them thick, them thick Christmas catalogs. I've been doing this since then. That's how long I've been doing manifestation. I've been doing manifestation for years. Okay? Where I would cut out pictures. And make like a little, my own little manifestation, my own little books. And journaling and yeah. So I've been doing manifestation for years. So anyways, I'm bringing my book. And let's see what else. I got to bring, I'm going to do hygiene last. Let me do my surgery stuff. Um, I'm bringing my mask. My urinal. I showed you guys my urinal. I'm bringing a mask because the airports, you do gotta bring a mask. I'm bringing my vlogging camera. Bringing my vlogging camera. I'm bringing a charger for that. What else? I'm just gonna bring for the first two nights, I'm bringing one pair of, like, comfy, like, shorts slash, like, shirt and one bathing suit to be sexy in. 
because after that pretty much I'm gonna be sleeping in my dresses like those dresses that's what I'll be sleeping in like wearing slash sleeping in after those first two days once you have surgery that's what you'll be wearing to sleep during the day and everything that's what you'll be sleeping in so it's pretty much a wrap after that there's no more there's no more getting cute after that so I am gonna bring I am gonna bring something to be cute for the first two days I gotta figure out what I want to wear I really don't know I really don't know, but I'll figure that out afterwards. That's like the end thing. So now, now that I have like my supplies, that's the gist. So that's everything what I need for the surgery. So now I could put this back up so I don't have a mess in my room. Okay, I got some Jergens Healing Lotion. I got some travel stuff. So I'm trying to see what I'm going to bring for hygiene. And I'm going to bring my scarf and my bonnet, but I need to use it tonight to sleep in. So I'm going to bring my scarf and my bonnet so that I don't mess up my braids. And I'm going to bring... You guys, I haven't gotten my hair braided since 2019, but I got it braided just so that I didn't, so I don't have to worry about maintenance and having to worry about doing, I don't have to worry about any hair maintenance while I'm in surgery. I don't have to worry about my hair getting in my way when I'm sleeping because you guys, when you sleep, when you have, when you have a BBL, you have to sleep on your stomach. So, I don't have to worry about my hair getting in my way because basically you're sleeping like this. You're sleeping like this. And you have two choices. You can sleep like this on this side or this side. <laughs> so, I just didn't want to have my hair in the way. So, this was a good option for me. So... I got my hair, I got my hair done for that reason. So, Tamira, I don't need most of the stuff. I don't even know what is in here. I have no idea what these are. Moisturizer. I have no idea what are what these are for real. So I need a tooth. I got my I got a toothbrush actually. So I gotta bring my toothbrush. I got my toothbrush in here. So toothbrush and toothpaste is a must. Here's my toothbrush that I bring. So I got that. And I got a travel toothpaste over here, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. I might need two of those. So, I have no idea what these are. Oh, that's rubbing alcohol. I'm going to bring some rubbing alcohol just in case I get like a bump. Rubbing alcohol. 
I'm gonna put some more in here though, just in case. Rubbing alcohol for me gets rid of, if you get a pimple and you just put rubbing alcohol just on that bump only, it will dry it up. I, think I, I might need to bring one more tube of toothpaste though. one more tube of small so I have two small um, travel things of toothpaste so I'm ready to put it in my suitcase and see how that works and then I gotta go grocery shopping for the house but I gotta get I have to bring um should I bring a perfume because they got SI's restriction I gotta bring my they don't okay I'm gonna bring my deodorant I'm going to bring that deodorant and then I'm just going to bring a new one out for here. Oh, I got to bring a pack of lashes because when I, oh, um, I'm going to put it on my truth and myth. I'm going to put it on my truth and my myth video also but when I went into surgery I'm gonna see if this I'm gonna see if this doctor takes my lashes off but my last BBL surgery I went in with lashes on and when I came off when I came out my lashes were off but thank goodness that I had a pack of lashes and my glue and my tweezers with me because I was able to put some new lashes on, thank goodness, because I didn't have to worry about scrambling, going to get no glue, and all this, that, and this, that, in the third. So, I'm going to see if they do that this time. But, like I said, the last facility, the last surgery center, did remove my lashes. So, when I woke up, I was bald. My eyelashes was bald, and I had to redo my eyelashes. I'm going to put these in a Ziploc baggie. I'm going to put these in a Ziploc baggie. So I am bringing some eyelashes. And I got to run over to the storage room. I'm just going to check mark. So camera bag, vision book, phone charger. I only got one Faja, so I'm going to put minus one. Compression socks, foam towels, soap. Oh, gauze. I do got to go down in the basement and get some gauze. Gauze, you want to put over your injection, over where you get your three. You'll get where the where the doctor puts the canola, can, can, cannulas. There's three openings. There's, let me show you guys. So, right here, like just above your pube area. One, two, three. So, two on the outside, one on the inside. And depending on your skin is the, the is going to be what's dependent on if you have um a kilo if you grow a keloid or how you're if you show a scar or not so everybody's different i did not show grow a scar or show a scar mine healed in three to four days and as a matter of fact my my masseuse had to open them up by the fourth massage they were closed the fifth massage, they were completely closed, so it was like a regular massage that felt good on the fifth one. I only got five massages. You do not need more than five massages for your BBL surgery. Okay, I repeat, you do not need more than five massages for your drainage massages for your BBL. So everybody is different. So you have three holes in the front. The back, when they go in the back, the doctor puts the cannula in the back. Those ones are stitched up with dissolvable stitches. The three in the front are going to be open to drain. Those will close on their own. Now, my doctor uses a drain. 
I'm hoping that I can I'm hoping that I can opt out of the drains because I do not want to have drains. I'm hoping that I can opt out. I'm not sure if I can or not. Though. I gotta go down the basement to get some gauze. Oh, so anyhow, I will put the gauze in front of those. I've even used the chucks because the first couple of days I dr I dr I leaked so bad. Like I said, I, it looked like a crime scene. That's how much I leaked. Nobody in the surgery in the um, recovery house saw anybody leaking as much as I did. Literally, I had a pool of blood everywhere. So I literally was using the chucks instead of the gauze the first couple of days that I was in the re recovery center in the recovery house. I literally I literally folded a chucks inside my faja to soak up all the liquid in the in the blood. Um, but after that, after those first two days, you can use gauze to put in front of the the three holes that the that the can cannula went inside was where the inlets where the where the it, where the cannula was inserted. Those three holes, you could put gauze over them. So I'm going to bring some gauze for that. But, yeah, mine leaked so bad. It looked like a crime scene, and it was a pool of blood and fluid all over. I thought I was dying. I thought I was, what's that word I'm looking for? I thought I was bleeding to death, literally. The um, I know some Spanish. And I understood enough to where I knew the lady was saying to her manager of the recovery house that it looked like a CSI crime scene. She was speaking so fast and she was pacing the floor. She had me nervous. They had to call the doctor and everything. It was a mess. Okay. Um, hair bonnet, shower cap. Oh, my shower cap. I'm going to, um, I'm putting a star next to the scarf, shower cap, and hair bonnet because I'm going to be taking a shower before I leave. So let me go run down in the basement and get me some... I have gauze for my waxing business because I use gauze to remove the wax. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, you guys. So... I have a Ziploc baggie, and I think I got an outfit that I didn't take pictures in. I wore this for my 40th and my, on my solo trip. I wore it um, not on my birthday, but the day before my birthday. But because I was vlogging and taking pictures of my uh, taking pictures of myself, you can't even see the outfit. So I got this outfit. So. I don't know. I wanted to have me like a cute dress, but I got my um Ziploc baggie. And y'all know, if you guys, for those that know me, y'all know I'm not a makeup person, but y'all know I'm just a lippy and a lashes kind of girl. So I'm just going to bring my Rihanna, my favorite Rihanna Fenty, my Rihanna Fenty Beauty lipstick, and this is in the color Thick. And it's the matte Moselle in the color thick, and it's in the really, it's a really thin lippy, and I love it because it is matte and it stays on. It lasts a really, really long time. So even if you eat, it stays on and it's very natural. And just a Dollar Tree Elf lip liner that has a what do you call that? Pencil sharp, uh, sharpener on the end. And then a uh, edge, a little thing to do my little edges. I got another one. I usually use my pink one. When I ordered them, I ordered them from Amazon. It came with two. You can get these at the Dollar Tree also, you guys. But I ordered mine from Amazon. But I did see some really good ones from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to bring my edger. And I got a liquid liner eyeliner but i just use this just to i have two moles i have a mole right here that used to be dark but it lightened up over the years and then i have one right there so i have two moles that i just like to darken up and that's about it and then my 
tweezers, my little 60, uh, 30 second glue, and then my pack of lashes. And then I'm bringing a little travel thing of, um, what the heck, free, um, got to be gel for my edges, but I don't like using um, this gel for my edges. I use the Lada for my edges, but I don't know if they're going to make me throw this away because of the size. Even though there's only, that's all I need for my edges, but I, don't, I just don't know if they'll make me throw it away. I wonder if I could... Ooh, yeah, you know what? Hold on, I can put this in one of these. I mean, I don't know if it, I don't think it's gonna pump out like a foam, but I don't even care because I don't want, I don't like my edges stiff. You know what I'm saying? I don't like my edges stiff. So what I'm gonna do I ordered these during COVID last year, like in March 2020. I ordered these Lada body um, coconut shake oils um, for my edges. I ordered them in a three pack. So I still, literally, I just you, I just put the rest of this one in this little travel kit, and I ordered these March of 2020 during the beginning stages of COVID. I ordered a three pack, and I still have these two brand new felt ones so that's how long these last me so i still have two more so i'm not even gonna i don't even need to bring the uh this got to be gel so i'm gonna bring this lotta this is garbage so i'm gonna put that near the door to be thrown out so I'm gonna put this in my little clear bag as well. So that's what I have as far as beauty goes. Actually, I'm gonna put my toothpaste and my rubbing alcohol in there as well. Should I put my deodorant in there too? Actually, I'm gonna put my lotion in there. So that's what I have in there far as liquids go well beauty and liquids whatever the case may be i don't think my i'm not gonna try to shove my deodorant in there so that's what i got in there so oh and then I, i'm bringing these large gauze as i've explained for the incision those three incision areas and i got one outfit let me cross off gauze oh and then i got these wide sandals, they was chewed up from my old dog, but they kind of, you know how jeans got the rip look? I figure they got like that little rip look, like how jeans got that rip look. Don't laugh. Don't do me, y'all. Do not do me. My dog had got, a <laughs> it's either these or the pink ones. Let me get the pink ones. You know what scratch the pink ones because the pink ones are coming off on the edge these ones are coming off on the edge too a little bit right there so it's got to be these because the other ones are coming off on the side even more it's got to be these yeah it's got to be these so it's gonna be these so Unless I run to Burlington, I can low-key go to Burlington and get me a pair real quick. I might do that. Because I want to get me a cute, like, I want to get me a cute dress. I might run to Burlington. 
So that's it, you guys. That is it. I might run to Burlington to get me a pair of sandals. And I don't know what to wear with that dress. I mean, with that skirt. Because when you're walking the strip, I'm not trying to be in these. Even though these are three inches, these are only three inches. I wore these yesterday and my toes are cut. I got cuts on my toes from underneath here. And I never had cuts under there. So these are comfortable. I could wear these. I could wear these. But I'd rather wear like these. And those are silver. These are silver and those are silver. Should I wear those? I don't know what shoes to wear. I don't know, you guys. So that's it. That's everything for my surgery. That's everything for my surgery. That was that was it. That's the main part of the video is what to bring for our BBL. That was everything. I'm about to pack. So this is what it's looking like, my little pile. This is my little pile. So this is my pile. Okay? That's my pile. And I'm going to put um, not, the, not the BBL pillow and not my camera bag. But this little pile right there is going to be going in my suitcase. Okay? So that is everything. That's what, I'm pa that's what I have packed. Why am I looking like extra bright? Okay. That's better. So that's everything. I got to figure out. I think I'm going to go to Burlington's. Bye. Okay, so that's everything. I got everything that I had out. I have in the carry-on luggage. Okay. So... That is the, my camera bag and my BBL pillow. And I'm going to, I have forgot to include my, that's my phone tripod. So I'm going to bring my phone tripod just in case I need that. I'm going to put that, I could pack that in my camera bag. And then I'm going to bring my power bank. And then I'm going to put these. I'm going to put these in my camera bag. So my mask, because I need that for the airline. My vlogging camera. That's my vlogging camera. Pack of gum for the airport airplane, because your ears get plugged in latitude, high latitudes. And my power bank. Matter of fact, I need an Android charger for my power bank. For my power bank. So these couple of things I'm going to be putting in my my camera bag but everything fit in my my carry-on and I didn't even have to I don't even have to um unzip the it has a another zipper just in case it's not wide enough but I didn't even have to unzip the extra zippers. So there's that. So everything fit, y'all. The only thing I'm undecisive is that... The only thing I'm undecisive is that one... Is, um, is the, um, the shoes for that one outfit. But those are the best yeah. option. Everything fit in my suitcase. Uh, I'm going to use the camera bag as my purse. And I'm going to use the BBL pillow as my whatever. I'm just going to carry that on my back. I'm going to use this as my purse. And yeah. So that's it. The area. I'm going to be doing a truth and myth video on BBL. I don't know if I'm going to be having actually a BBL again or if I'm going to be having a mastectomy, which is, you know, I'm going to be having, uh, or the gummies, gummy breast implants with a lift. Um, I won't know until on the day of surgery on August 11th, on Wednesday, until I meet with my surgeon, Dr. Magic Mike, because I don't know if I have enough of fat 
So I may or may not be having a second BBO. So we'll have to stay tuned for that. So I will be ha I will be vlogging. Hopefully Dr. Magic Mike will let me vlog uh, my pre-op. So look out for that. And I will be also doing a video on truth or uh, truth the truth of myth. I think I'm gonna wait until after the 11th to do my truth or myth video, but I will be look out to see if I can do a video for the truth and myth. Other than that, I'm going to be vlogging my trip there and everything like that, my journey going on the way there and everything like that. So look out for a couple of videos. Okay. So let's see going my journey, going to the surgery, you know, going to the airport and all that good stuff. My you know, my tour, my air, my Airbnb, because that's looking real snazzy. And then what else? And then I don't know if, I, yeah. And then probably combining that in the video with, uh, my pre-op appointment with magic Mike. So look out for that video. Okay. So yeah. And then I got a bunch of videos. I got a couple of videos that I have to edit so i've been super super busy it was my son's birthday yesterday i've been so busy i'm just now packing the day before i leave so yeah S stay with me you guys and yeah look out for those videos and um i love you guys thanks for watching if you like this video hit that smash button smash like button um please subscribe because it does help me and um with my journey and yeah so Stay tuned, guys. All right, till next time. Peace. You guys, I am so sorry. I almost forgot one of the most important, important things of what you need for this surgery is, you know, all done? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I'll check it out in a second. Y'all, if you don't bring one one thing if you don't bring the most important thing it's a robe okay and i'm talking about a fluffy thick robe and when i mean a big fluffy robe i'm talking a fluffy thick robe like this and i'm so serious i'm serious as a stroke because when you come out of surgery, you're going to feel like you are coming, like you are naked in the 10 feet of snow, shivering. Because something about when you come out of surgery, you feel like you are in ice cold in the snow, heavily in Buffalo or in New York State in the snow. You are just absolutely freezing. You're shivering. You just feel like you're in icicles. So I almost forgot. I don't know what God sent me a message literally God sent me a message and was like a robe because I almost forgot so this is very extremely important because you will feel freezing and I'm talking icicle like you're naked in 10 feet of snow freezing so this is extremely important I got this on Amazon I will link this along with the Arnica gel not arnica gel i'll link the arnica gel as well from like walgreens but i'll link the arnica gel, uh the arnica tea from amazon now i'm gonna roll this up when you travel to be a minimalist and especially as a, tra a solo travel traveler that you don't want to a true solo travelist will minimally pack with the least amount of things and will not a, a true solo travelist will not pay for a luggage but what you want to do is you want to roll your things up so what i'm going to do can y'all see so what i'm going to do is i'm going to roll this up as tight as i can so that i can fit this in my carry-on okay it's still bulky, like almost like a small sleeping bag, okay? But this is very important. We cannot leave this behind because you will need this. You will absolutely, you will need this robe and your extra strength Tylenol are probably the 
most important things that you will need for a BBL surgery. They are the top two. I would say these are the top two things alongside of, of course, a five and your compression socks. But these are the top two things that you will need that you will need for a BBL surgery that you don't want to miss. And um, I say that with every everything in my heart because you will suffer without these. So um, I'm not sure how I'm going to maneuver my stuff around, but we are going to make this happen. When I tell you we are going to make this happen, so I'm going to just maneuver my stuff around and I'm going to make this work on an angle and then, yeah, that's it. There he is. So, that can go right there. And then we can put that right there. And I made it do what it do. So, yeah, now look at how we got this going on. So, we got the, I got the robe in there. Hold on, let me move the strap out the way. So, that's how I put everything so I managed to get everything and all I did was I moved I put the urinal on this side on the edge and I managed to fit everything okay so now I could just flip that over let me just see now getting this closed is gonna be a challenge because now it's not closing like it was but I can, now that's when I'm going to have to put, um, I'm going to have to make this a little wider. Remember how it wasn't wide before? You know, I didn't have to open up the zipper before, so I'm going to have to open up one of the, my teeth spoke to me. When he was like, Jen, he was like, Jennifer, don't forget that robe. Because you know you don't like being freezing. So I had to unzip to make mine fatter. So, okay, don't forget that robe. I'm going to link in the description. I'm going to link the robe. I think they have multiple colors. But don't get a light color because you don't want to get it dirty. So... If you're trying to get a baby, trying to be cute and all, and trying to have baby pink, or you're trying to have white, make sure you keep in mind that you're going to be leaking. You're going to be leaking blood and fluid. That fluid is going to be mixed with blood, so it's all going to look like blood. You don't want to be leaking on your baby pink or your white robe. So keep that in mind and get you a dark color. So that's why I got me a dark pink. So keep that in mind, you guys, okay? When you're getting your bringing your dresses or you're bringing your clothes, wear a dark color so when you're leaking, because you got to get back and forth to your, your lymphatic massages. All right? If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to ask me any question you need. I will let you know and get back to I answer all questions, all right? Don't forget your robe because you will feel like you are in 10 feet of snow naked in, in, in icicles, okay? <laughs> All right, I did have to, and this is kind of heavy. Oh, I'm extra bright. Hold on, let's tame this down a little bit, the brightness. Okay, so this is what we got. All right, so... There we have it. <laughs> Y'all, I forgot one big, another big major thing, too. Um, I went to the storage room, and I picked up, I'm actually going to be selling these, so I actually got one from my inventory, 
I went and got my a mastectomy bra and this is what it looks like it encloses in the front and it's very it's padded and it's rouched and it has the thick band and it has like um I don't know what you want to call it it's like a the material is like nylon and kind of stretchy so it has I don't know it feels like good it's like kind of um the material is like almost like that swimsuit material so it's like spandecky so I grabbed these and I actually I don't have many in stock because I was giving it a whirl and I knew I was going into surgery so I figured let me get one for myself because I knew I was gonna have a mastectomy myself so I only have a few in stock. So I went and grabbed one out. And I grabbed um, a few of them from my vendor. The same vendor that I got my waist trainers from. And my, actually not my waist trainers, I got my sweat vest from. And I'm trying to think. Actually, I got my corset waist trainers and my sweat vest that's the vendor that I got these from so I went and got that but I wanted to let you guys know see my, my father who are in heaven spoke to me okay so when I was driving it hit me and I wanted to let you guys come back on here again for the final time and remind you guys that is very important also to, I might have some salad. I'm just eating now, it's 10.30 at night. And um, I gotta get up, I got my alarm set at 5.30 in the morning. I gotta be to the airport by like 6.45, no later, that's giving me 45 minutes. My airport here is small, so I have to be there no later. I gotta go pick up my best friend. So, any home, bring your insurance cards because um, your prescription drugs for your painkillers and your antibiotic even if your insurance doesn't cover your prescriptions fully they may they may cut your insurance may cover some of that if not half of it or most of it bring your insurance cards if you are SSI or SSD and you have the red white and blue card your prescriptions are going to be covered in full so bring your Chances are your uh, your red, white, and blue card is going to be your primary uh, insurance, and then you'll have a secondary. So whatever your secondary HMO, whether it's going to be Blue Cross Blue Shield, um, Blue Cross Excellent, or Blue Cross Blue Shield Excellence, or you have United Healthcare, whatever your H, um, your HMO, your secondary insurance carrier is, you're going to have a card. Bring your red, white, and blue card. And also, that's your Medicare card, okay? So it's red, white, and blue. Bring that card. It's paper. Bring that, and then also bring your secondary insurance card. If you are medic, if you are, um, I also am military, so I have, if you have your Deers card, even if you don't have your Deers card, you should be in the system at 50%, even if you're at 50% only, let's suppose. Your prescription drugs should be covered as well. You might not have a medical card, but let's suppose you ha are on prescriptions and you pick up your prescriptions from wherever. You should have your prescriptions covered for. So bring your, if you have a Deers card, your military, bring that with you. Bring your insurance cards with you, you guys. So that you, you can have your, if you're in a stand in a recovery house, what's going to happen is you're going to give your insurance cards to the your transportation, whoever is transporting you to your surgery, to the day of your surgery, you're going to give them your, they're going to be picking up your prescriptions. So the transportation person is going to be picking up your prescriptions. You'll hand the transportation person your insurance cards so that they can pick up your prescriptions and they, that will cover the cost. You may have to give them a few dollars. Ask for a receipt. Do not trust the delivery person to, with money. Do not trust your delivery person 
and I don't want to go into that right now, but do not trust the delivery person with your money without a receipt. Just ask them for a receipt, and there's a reason for that. These people that the recovery center are hiring are humans, and humans make mistakes. Humans are humans. Humans are sinners. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm just going to leave it at that in the nicest, kindest way. So, when I do my vlog on my first experience, you will have a thorough understanding on why I say exactly that. Request a receipt. So if you go to hand your, if you have a Medicare card and you are disabled, your SSI or SSD, and you have a red, white, and blue card, you are 100% covered from your, your prescriptions. If you are unsure, then you will have to give your, if you're staying in a recovery house or you are having somebody come with you and you're staying in an Airbnb, for example, let's say, and you're having somebody, a, a close family, a friend, a relative stay with you, and you're unsure if your prescription prescriptions are going to be covered, then um, just ask for a receipt, you know, if you're unsure, just on the safe side, just ask for a receipt to find out what your antibiotics and your painkillers come to. Um, because you don't know what your H, what your insurance premium is going to cover. So just ask for a receipt, especially if you're staying in a recovery house, because don't trust, don't trust, don't trust none, nobody at the recovery house, especially the delivery drivers. Okay. So do yourself a favor and bring your insurance cards, bring your secondary and your primary card cards. Okay, and that's the last. It's 1030. I got to finish my salad so I don't lose no more weight. I don't need to lose my weight. I need to make sure I have some weight so I can get the surgery. All right, that's all.